This is the High School Football America podcast for February the 19th, 2020. I'm Jeff Fisher. Well, had a lot of fun yesterday doing what I do uh, right around this time uh, every year, which is update the all-time coaching wins list. And uh, as you uh, look at the story on highschoolfootballamerica.com, you'll see lots of movement on the all-time coaching wins list after the 2019 season. And there's a lot of milestones ahead in the uh, 2020 high school football season. Now at the top of the list, or I should say number two, JT Curtis of John Curtis High School in Louisiana is likely to become this season just the second high school football coach to enter the 600 wins club. Curtis needs just eight victories to reach the mark, and he'll probably end the year within about two years of catching the legendary John McKissick, who passed away just before the holidays. Uh, I'll never forget, uh, back in uh, 2011, when I began the High School Football America radio show, I had Coach Curtis and Coach McKissick on the same show. Go back into our archives at highschoolfootballamerica.com to listen to that one. That is a very, very good one. Now, right below Curtis at number three is Hampton High High School's Mike Smith out of Virginia, who is just four victories away from reaching the 500 win club in 2020, and we wish uh, Coach Smith all the luck in the world. Moving up from number five in 2019 to number four heading into 2020 is St. Mary's Springs head coach Robert Highland out of Wisconsin, and he's proving that age doesn't matter. Highland directed SMS to its ninth overall title and third straight during the 2019 season. Now, some other coaches on the uh, all-time wins list won titles in 2019, showing age doesn't matter when it comes to state titles. Philip Haywood of Belfry in Kentucky won a state championship. Jim Roth of uh, Southern Columbia out of Pennsylvania, also a state champ. Uh, Gary Rankin, he's been doing it a long time in Tennessee. Uh, He won a state championship again for Alcoa. Jim Hightower of St. Thomas More in Louisiana and Tom Knotts of Dutch Fork. Uh, in uh, South Carolina, all picking up state championship victories uh, while uh, being on the all-time wins list. list. Now, not state championship game was uh, quite an interesting one as he matched wits with uh, uh, Dorman's uh, Dave Gutshaw, who joined the 400 club, uh, win club last year, early in the year. In addition to Gutshaw, three other coaches entered the 400 Wins Club last year. Randy Allen of Highland Park in Texas uh, ended the season with 403 victories. Mike Malin out of uh, Minnesota, Verndale High School. He also hit the uh, 400 Win Club, as did... Uh, Jim France of uh, Manchester High School in Ohio. And you can go to highschoolfootballamerica.com to see the entire list. It goes down through uh, 374 victories. You can see who's closing in on the 400 win club this year. Just a spectacular list. Just to to go back to the top to let you know what uh, J.T. Curtis's record is. And it's incredible uh, when you listen to the uh, the podcast I did with him. He's been on our uh, radio show and podcast a couple of times. He was uh, he didn't win a game in his first season, and now his record heading into this year is 592 victories, 66 losses, most of them coming in the first year, and six ties. Again, he is chasing the man at the top, John McKissick, the legendary late John McKissick. Uh, last job was at Somerville High School outside of Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Coach McKissick, 621 victories, 156 to feats and 13 ties. So check out the story at highschoolfootballamerica.com and that will do it for today's High School Football America podcast. I'm Jeff Fisher. I'll talk to you tomorrow.